Hello, this is Dave Irving, and this is an example of changing a field within a report template to generate a altering output in the final diagrams. Here we have an output I generated before, except here we have a piece of literal text. This diagram has been produced which just contains the word pattern here. Now I'm going to change this word pattern within our uh, report template so that it will put in there the name of the design or at least the pattern engineers pattern engineers name for the design so we'll go back to our we don't want to change it here what's the point it'll get written over we want to go back to our report template pick our word here now all of the parts within our template here are all cells within the table. Any data that is put into our report must go into a cell because the cell will control the size of the item. Hi, if you have a huge image you don't want it to be huge inside your report, you want it to be fit to a certain size. So in this particular case here's an example of a picture that will fit that size Here's an example of a piece of text that will go in there, but it will fit in that little box there. So items are forced to be within the size of the cell they are placed. Are you all these items here we are calling fields? That's a literal image, so that's not a field, but that is a field, and that is a field, and that is a field. You can only tell these only because we've put the names in there of the field weather that we are producing the information from. So, let's go and produce a new field. Let's get rid of our piece of literal text there, get rid of that. And let's put a text field in there instead. Now we have some already made, and here's a one pattern name. I'll add that in, i.e. st underscore pattern underscore name, which is now a field that will be replaced with information when we run the report. Let's see where this comes from. Pattern name. Edit it. And let's see where it came from. Right, all pieces of information mined out of the .shu file or a file in a directory or wherever has three important items. Well, actually four to be honest. It has a type. It's either text, it's an image, which is JPEG or PNG, or possibly bitmap. JPEG and PNG are preferred because they're smaller. So we have graphics. Graphics is an outline of a part or a part drawing as supplied by engineer. For those technically minded this is an SVG file. The second thing we need to know is it a one-off, i.e. is there only one of them or are we trying to get a list of items? One-off is like the name of the pattern file. A list would be like a list of parts within that file. Now, the next third thing is where does the data come from? It's either within the current actual current shoe file, or it could be a working directory, or a crispin directory, or an image directory for example, where we might pull images from. In this particular case it's within our current shoe file, and it's there's our current shoe file tree, and it is within the imported information, and it is Here's a list of all the attributes we can pull out, and here's the pattern name. But let's put the pattern description instead. Ah, it's already recognised, we already have a standard one for that called ST Description. So let's go back to our pattern name, and it's already there as a preloaded one. And when we accept that, close that down, there's our pattern name in there finish that, go back to our report generation request, generate the diagrams, and this time we should have the pattern name in there instead of just the word pattern. That shows that the diagram has been loaded from the shoe file as supplied, so let's go and have a look at that. Yes it has. Now there is a known bug at the moment whereby our text sizes are not uniform, but that's something to be done before we release this version. Okay, thank you very much.